What's up, Loop Troop? Today we're gonna be playing with some Hercules. Um, I'm not gonna lie, he's not some kind of crazy sick card. I think he's just can add a little bit of flair to move. Hopefully he gets a buff um, at some point. He does seem a little clunky, uh, coming in at a four six. But we did have some pretty good games with him, um, where he was actually a little bit viable. That's what we're trying to showcase to you guys today. But I do think that he's just an extra movement card. Um, he doesn't do a lot of crazy stuff. So don't expect to see a ton of games with him, but we do have some good games in here that, that he did, you know, add a little bit of, uh, you know, razzle dazzle to the mix. Um, I love this deck. It's called Rock'em Sock'em. The only car we got in here that is going to be gaining power is Craven from movement cards, obviously. We do have Nebula in here, who's just a good addition as a low cost card that's gonna be able to, you know, gain some power on the side. Sometimes it did really matter. This is a control move deck. So you're gonna be moving cards around a lot on your opponent's side. They're gonna be getting hit with Kingpin who just got changed over to the negative two when your enemy cards flow in there. I didn't realize that at first. I thought it was both cards. I was thinking about old Kingpin, but no, it's just the enemy cards, which works out really good. We got Stegri in here. Uh, Stegron is a great, great, great card. I, I like him simply because he can move cards that have already been revealed. You also got Juggernaut, so he can just, you know, bypass if it's been revealed or not. But this deck is awesome because you can clog up opponents and hope if they go to the Kingpin lane, you can then use Lady Deathstrike if they're low enough to kill them. We won some games like that, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I just wanna say, um, before you guys watch this video, this deck, I know the Hercules did just come out, which is what inspired me to make this deck. But at the same time, just think about the fact that this is a off meta deck that's running Lady Deathstrike. Um, that's what I really want to appeal to. It's not just about Hercules in this case. And I don't think most decks are going to be just about Hercules. He's going to be doing other things. So keep that in mind, we got a lot of other control cards in here through Shang-Chi and because big things are big things and we want to make them eliminate. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoy the deck and we'll see you later. Bye. That has a lot of control cards and we're trying to see how that goes, but yeah. Two plus 13 equals like whole lots. His math was bad. Uh, another Monster Riley. Interesting. We haven't even been able to play him the last two games. Uh, Yondu took our card, I think. And then we also got District X. So. Kingpin felt a little underwhelming, but I may not have given the archetype enough time to hit the high points. Um, I'm gonna see how it goes. It's a little weird. It really is weird. Well, this is interesting. Yep. I'm not a big fan of this. Not, not a big fan of that. What's he gonna do right now? You kind of wish Kingpin didn't care which lane the enemy car moved in. I love to play high Evo. That'd be interesting. So we're winning this lane. I could straight up like, I, I wish that I could kill that too, but I didn't move it enough times or anything. Um, They definitely have priority. Um, He's probably gonna play, I mean, I wonder what he's gonna do, right? I could Shang, right?
probably my my best hope. But he could literally win right now just by playing a small thing. I don't think I don't think it's going to matter. He had to be really dumb and he was really dumb. He has two cards in his hand right now, man. I bet he has two cards that cost less than Ronan. All he had to do was play two small things and he'd be fine. Two small things and he would have been fantastic. I've been a glizzy gobbler all day. I'm not gonna lie, man. Hot dogs is delicious, man. I ain't got no problem eating no hot dogs. Like, that's just me though, you know? That's just me. <laughs> Cap Caps locks is not illegal in my stream, but I will make fun of you if you if you if you use it. This is funny. I'm surprised they didn't hit Ravona this OTA, to be honest. I don't think they would. I think that Ravona is in a good place. I don't think she's like, you know, super fucking broken or anything, but you know, if they play a card this turn, I'll pull it over here too. Well, unless it's a three cost card. It's a three cost card. Marvel. People are still trying to play with Miss Marvel now. Loopy, I trust a brother not to lie to me. Should I open for Hercules? Not unless you're a content creator. just happened loop I feel that this deck needs Zabu um it could possibly help him, but... I'm not gonna agree to that or disagree to that Do you think he's gonna play? I mean, I could, I could knock him out of here. What, 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 do, what do I want to do here? I guess is the question. I can knock him out of here, and I can knock him out of here. You said Doom left. You think he's gonna Doom left? You think Doom is the safest? Say Sa safest. <laughs> Fine, I'll snap. Fine, I'll snap. That's nice. Victory. Hmm. I guess he just decided that the right was just useless. Although he couldn't do anything over there really anyway, so. His best bet was to leave. Erica and the Punisher and stuff like that. Those are cards that beginners get. I feel to me, my mindset can't wrap around the fact that I think that beginners should still have decent cards so that so that they have a higher retention rate of players 
so that people will actually be like, yeah, I got a cool Captain America deck. And I can also say that I got a cool Captain America deck. And then they'll, you know, they, I don't mind them playing with a cool Captain America deck. Like who cares? Like if it's good and it's working great, they don't, I want them to be able to compete with me so they can stay and they can become people that play the game, you know? The simplicity of the cards? Who cares about the simplicity? You, you can make a card that's simple but good. Look at Sunspot. Sunspot's simple. You, after each turn, you gain plus one power for each unspent energy. You know, like he's, that's good. I don't see nothing wrong with him. They can, they can be simply good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of new cards are very good. Yes, and that's the, and that's the issue because newer players can't get new cards. <sighs> kind of wish I had Kingpin right now. Arrow won't move. Arrow's not gonna move cards. Like, okay, so yeah. I, I believe that this guy is, I think he's playing um, She-Hulk in Infinite, maybe. The snap meta is so much different. Damn. So I would only be pulling like the last thing that he played. So that wouldn't really help me out. Sunspot's a nine, so I can't shank Chi him. I could play Absorption Man and I can knock a card out again. That's the best thing I got right now, really. Um knock Hulk out. If I knock him to the left, that's great. If I knock him to the right, that's good too. Let's see. Knock out Hulk. Knock out Hulk. Anywhere. Come on. Anywhere. Thank you. Just what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Woo. Stacked him up all in one lane, baby. I'm surprised he really only played Kyra that turn too, which is funny. I guess he just really wanted to protect his Hulk and his and his sunspot. But I didn't even have Killmonger, so it was all worked out for me. Oliver 101. Why it says 248 subs? Because we got 248. Subs. I thought we passed that last night. I don't know why. I think what I think happened is at the same time of us passing subs yesterday, we also gained like we, we lost subs at the same time. We like got them. So I don't really know how to explain it. I think that's the only I think that's the only explanation I have. Uh-uh. 
un, 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 un. Just like Patreon members? Yeah, that's probably what happened. That's probably why it was messing up. I think that we just got something around the same time as all. What is that? Doom. Awesome. Get your ass back over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now I could kill all of this. We would kill Negasonic, Medusa, Miss Marvel. We'd also kill him as well, but that's fine. I've already snapped. Do we win? I think we win. I'm pretty sure we win. Like, that's fine. But we're also gonna kill that, which means we don't die. And we also kill Miss Marvel. Boom, baby! Let's go! Flip it and ship it, baby. Flip it and ship it. There we go. He thought he had me, man, but he didn't have me. That's definitely a clip right there, man. <laughs> oh, man. Get the camera, mom! <laughs> you wanna know what's really awesome is the fact that because we knocked over Miss Marvel, that's why we were able to kill her with uh, De Lady Deathstrike. I told you that Lady Deathstrike would make this would make this good. You know, when when you do get that from, I mean, it's okay that we killed um, Kingpin because we won everything else. So, you know, you love to see it. Okay. This deck is really fun to play. I will say that. I'll say that much. This deck is pretty fun to play. This guy is probably a Miss Marvel deck and that's why he's snapping because he has Miss Marvel and he's on Onslaught Citadel. Lucky for me, um, I can get him off of there if he plays there. That's fine with me, dude. No skin off my bones. I hope you like not being on Onslaught Citadel. Nope, buddy, I have priority, which means Ms. Marvel always gets pushed. Can I have, oh, it's Kingpin, okay. Um. I'll do this here, why not? Um, we're either gonna push them all to Fisk Tower or most of them over there. That's a lot of power to be beating. Jeff and Zabu, that's not gonna be enough. Thanks for the AQs, buddy. Alvina's in. <laughs> oh buddy i'm sorry hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to click on my face right here to subscribe to the channel or you can also check out this video right here you guys have a great day bye